Good to see you, my friend. I could use an ally in this desolate place. The Grey Host has turned his attention upon the Reach, but the local ruler refuses my help. This so-called despot of Markarth thinks wolves and sentries will hold back their fury. Ard Kadok. He rules the Reach from Understone Keep in Markarth. I've come to offer my help against the Grey Host, but he has turned me away time and time again. Meanwhile, even here, in the shadow of the city, the Grey Host plots and conspires. It's an alliance of vampires, witches, and werewolves bent on slaughter and destruction. To protect the Reach, I need to learn why the Grey Host has come here, and I need to secure the cooperation of Ard Karak. Would you be willing to help me? With your help, we may save the Reach yet. While I continue to exert diplomatic pressure, I need you to find information the Ard will consider valuable. Something concerning the rebels that plague his rule, perhaps. Start by talking to the sentry. With your help, remember, remain respectful. Didn't you hear? You and that fancy bastard aren't welcome here. Get, or I'll make a scarf out of your guts. We know all about the blood drinkers and the beast folk. We were dealing with them just fine before Ard Kadok called us back to Markarth. The witch rebels are a bigger threat, along with outsiders who try to get into our business. Some wilder witch has been stirring up the clans to the east of Markarth, making trouble for Ard Kadok. <laughs> but we'll have her head on a pike soon enough. Look, if you want to see the Ard, then bring news he doesn't know. Something about the rebels. as long as you like. I'm done waiting for Ard Kadok to muster the clans. Are you now? And what do you plan to do about it? Join those rebels? You wouldn't have the first clue about how to find them. That's where you're wrong. Connell says they're gathering in the eastern foothills. Well then, your head can wind up on a pike with the rest of them, you damn fool.
this man is the damn vampires. Get... get away from me, you reeker. You think a rich warrior with only one good leg can't cut you? Well, think again! The Grey Host? Does it look like I've been bitten or clawed? Was the damn witch rebels. And they can't tell a rich folk from a monster any better than you can. They thought I was one of those invaders. Spirits take the lot of them. I, like a pack of wild dogs they were, kept shouting Arana, Arana as they bore down on me. I took an arrow in the leg before they listened to me, before they decided I wasn't an invader. I think Arana spoke to me. I think she was their leader. No, like ghosts these rebels are. I plan to return to Markarth and petition the Ard to let me take a war party out to find them. They must be hiding in the eastern foothills. I don't care if they are fighting the Grey Host. They're mine. Yeah, my friend. Was your hunt successful? You couldn't have timed your arrival any better. Our Kadak holds court as we speak. We'll never have a better chance to gain an audience with him. Did your investigation uncover anything we can use? What did you learn? Orana? I have heard that name during my time here. Did you happen to learn what these rebels are rebelling against? Flee this city? With a grey host prowling the countryside? Well, that's three valuable pieces of information. I want you to represent me before Ard Kadak. Explain what you learned, and convince him to finally agree to meet with me. Speak with the Ard Sentry. You'll need to convince her to gain an audience with Kadak. I think the information you uncovered about the Rebels will be enough to interest the despot of Markarth. But you can never be too certain with Reachfolk. You again? You dare to disgrace Understone Keep with your presence, Outsider? <laughs> that takes guts, I'll give you that. What's your business in the Ard's Keep? Do you now? And you want to share that information with Ard Kadok? You're certainly full of surprises, Outsider. All right, I'll allow you to approach the throne, if your courage holds out. Fair warning, the Ard's in a foul temper today. Not yet you don't, but you will. Ard Kadok's as likely to remove your head from your shoulders as listen to you, so talk fast, Outsider. And remember, the Ard has no patience for fools or flatterers. Keep that in mind.
What fool do I have to behead for letting you in here? You're not of the Reach or the clans. You've either got the sense of a goat or the heart of a saber cat, and I'm eager to find out which. Now, speak plainly. What brings you to the despot of Markarth? The fancy elf, who won't take no for an answer, eh? Yeah, he should have made this offer earlier. News concerning the rebels is a beast worth skinning. Tell me something I don't know, and won't have you fed to my hunting dogs. Spies in my city. <laughs> well, that would explain some things, but that and a vague location aren't enough to get me to sit down and drink with a high elf. What else have you got? And remember, my patience is wearing thin. Arana. I know that name. She's a honey-tongued fanatic who refused to bury her sword when I forged a peace with the Grey Host. She's slippery, eh? But I didn't realize she led the rebels. Eh, sniffing out a rage witch. That commands respect. For now. Hi. They agreed to spare the city while they look for some ancient relic. Dwarven, I suspect. They can have it. Verandas wants to meet? Then talk to my advisor, Lady Belaine. Track down Arana for her, and I'll listen to every word he has to say. I couldn't help but overhear Art Caddick's voice it carries. Now, tell me about the leader of the Witch Rebels. The name you provided? Arana, I believe you said? Ah, uh, therein lies the problem. Reach Witches are experts at losing themselves in the many caves and copses that decorate the landscape. It's like finding a tooth in a hen's beak. Most Witches give deference to the Ard. Arana is a troublemaker. Actually, that task falls to you. A favor for a favor, yes? That's how business works here. Locate the rebels. Find Arana and urge her to stop meddling in Markarth's affairs. Do that and you shall earn a place for you and your count in the Reach. That look on your face. I know curiosity when I see it. Very well. I can spare a few more moments before sending you off on your task. What does the outsider in our... Over here, my friend. Before you run off, tell me about your audience with Ard Kadok. Impressive. You accomplished more in mere moments than I've been able to do since I arrived in this savage land. We'll find a runner, see if the witch rebels will join our cause. I will continue my own investigations and meet you back here.
hold there, outsider. These hills belong to the Reach Folk Rover. Turn around and go back the way you came, or I'll have your nose for a trophy. Witch Rebels, huh? That's just a label applied by the oppressors, don't you think? Look, we have enough trouble with those Greyhose bastards and Carrick soldiers. We don't need a curious outsider blundering around and getting in our way, too. You're a hunter? Truly? Sounds more like Carrick and his keep witch getting up to more mischief. You want to befriend the witch rebels? Then prove it. The Grey Host has set up stockpiles nearby. Find out what they're storing, and then we'll talk. The stockpiles were spotted to the east and south. If you can find out what the Grey Host is using them for, then we'll owe you a favor. And true Reach folk never renege on a favor. This one hates criminals, especially vampire criminals. Five Claw? 
Adusa doesn't know what twist of the tail brought you here, but she finds your presence most fortuitous. I could use an extra set of eyes to watch my back. What say you, my friend? Hmm? Are your eyes still sharp? Will you aid this one again? The Lothid, a local clan of vampires, terrorizes the countryside from their lair in the ruins beneath this mountain. This one convinced young Cathad to leave this clan of criminals. Or so I thought. For some reason, he has returned to them. This one was close to saving a vampire from a life of crime and evil intentions. Why Cathad went back to them, I do not know. But Adusadaro is not ready to give up on him quite yet. Will you help me extract Cathad from the Lothed clan, Five Claw? Five Claw? This one. The Dwarven apparatus will take us into the bowels of the mountain. To the Reachwind Depths, the ruins that now serve as the lair of the Lothid clan and their leader, Boss Trenlor. Meet Adusa there, Five Claw, and we will find Cathad together. This way, Five Claw. Follow me. Adusa has a plan. Adusa has scouted these ruins and come up with a plan. This one will barge in through the front door, confront Boss Trenlor, and try to determine where Cathad is. Meanwhile, you go in through the sluice gate along the wall to the southwest. No, Five Claw. Even the two of us would be hard-pressed to defeat the entire Lothed clan. While this one figures out where Cathad is, you quietly find a vantage point and see what happens. You're my safeguard, in case something unfortunate occurs. If the meeting goes well, Adusa will signal you to join her. If not, there is a good chance this one will be tossed into the deep prison. If that happens, you will come to my rescue, yes? Either way, we should learn where they're keeping Cathad. Remember, Five Claw. Watch, then come to my rescue if things go badly.
you Sadaro of the Raven Watch. Cathard told me to expect you. Let me talk to Cathard, Tremor. Cathard returned for his love, so I sent him to her. I banished them to the deep tombs. His love? You mean Freilith? She is here too? Freilith bit above her station. As for Cathard, you can join him. Toss her in the deep tombs! Try not to die too quickly, Ravenwatch Kerr! You should have listened to reason, Mark. I'm trying to save the clan. Than this one expect. Hadusa loves it when a plan comes together. This worked out better than I expected. Now, we just have to find Cathod and Freilith. No, not exactly. This one hoped not to get overpowered by Boss Trenmore's lackeys and flayed alive. After that, I was going to improvise. This is much better, yes. We are in the deep tombs. Thad is here, somewhere. We should find him. Good. I didn't think these monsters could overpower Kathad. Let's hurry and catch up to him, Five Claw. Convince him to leave. Lothed Plan is no place for a sane and honorable vampire. No place at all. Be cautious, though. If we run into Freilith, Remember that she twists words and tells lies that sound like the most beautiful truths.
went down the east corridor. Stay behind me, beloved. Oh, Adusa? What are you doing here? We came to save you, Cathod. Talk to him, Five Claw. I'll watch the door. You and Adusa shouldn't be down here. Bas Trenlor. He's not the sort of vampire who's quick to forgive and forget. I know what Adusa expects of me. I want to join the Raven Watch. I really do. But I can't leave my loathed brothers and sisters in this deplorable state of existence. I need to do something. Boss Trenlor turned this once great clan into a gang of common criminals. He makes us plunder the countryside, kidnap mortals to feed upon. And if anyone objects, he casts us into the deep tombs and denies us blood. He turns us into feral monsters. Freylith has a plan. A way to replace Boss Trenlor and choose a new leader. Someone who wants to improve the Lothid instead of aggrandizing their own position. Once that happens, I can leave. Talk to Freylith. She explains things better than I do. I apologize for my horrid appearance. I assure you, if I wasn't half starved because of that bastard Trenlor, I'd make a much better impression. Will you and Adusa help us save the Lothid clan? Among Boss Trenlor's many vices, he loves to be entertained. So every night they throw him a party. A celebration of blood using a captured mortal, a wild beast, or, or one of the clan he abandoned down here. After we turn feral, of course. Not just evil. Deranged and cruel. He treats our clan as though we were his personal playthings, toys to be used and abused for for no other reason than he enjoys it. But he's also powerful. No one has ever challenged him and survived. If you go down into the blinds and get me a dark cap mushroom, I can use it to weaken Trenlor. Then I can challenge him. After you find it, there's a lift down there. It connects to an abandoned corner in the servants' quarters. We'll meet you there. This place is full of mushrooms. Look sharp, I call. Five Claw. Now, 
Let's find that lift Freyloth mentioned. <laughs> That must be the lift. One moment, Five Claw. This one has some... Before we hand over the mushroom, this one feels she must tell you something. It concerns my history with Freylith. When this one first became a vampire, she was alone, confused, frightened. Medusa did some terrible things before she understood exactly what was happening. Then, I met Freylith. Freylith took Medusa under her wing, trained her, guided her. She was exactly what I needed, but she also wasn't. Freylith is wild, chaotic. She loves both the power and the freedom that vampirism provides. I don't want her to lead Cathard astray. Freylith may not be the monster that Traylor is, but she is no fragile flower. She led me to places, actions, that seemed like a good idea at the time. I see much promise in Cathard. He can be an asset to the Ravenwatch if he isn't corrupted. Talk to Cathard, Five Claw. Tell him what you found. She didn't have to die, Freylith. We couldn't have her raised. There was no the reason for another member of the clan to die. Works, but so. Freylith refuses to see it that way. Still, we need to press on. Were you successful? Did you find a dark cap mushroom? Good. Then we're that much closer to completing Freylith's plan and replacing Boss Trenlor. Obviously, none of us can walk in and join the Lothid celebration. Everyone knows we were cast into the Deep Tombs. You'll have to perform the next step. You need to get past the clan members to reach Trenlor's throne. Then just drop the mushroom into his chalice of blood. We'll take care of the rest. You'll need a disguise, though. Lothid celebrations are chaotic, but they easily spot an outsider. Already taken care of. Here, put on these servants' clothes. The clan will ignore you if you look like one of the mortal servants. The chalice sits on the table near the throne. Place the mushroom in the chalice, then step back and wait for us. You look perfect. Now sneak in the boss Trenlor's court and place the mushroom.
Slave, bring me my chalice. I thirst. Stupid slave! He gave me spoiled blood! It's not spoiled, you bastard. That's Dark Cap. Freilith? You poisoned? Murder, Freilith? Where is your honor? Boss Trenlor got exactly what he deserved. And now, I want to talk to our friend here. Let's go, Cathar. <laughs> Did you see the expression on that bastard's face? We made him pay for all the pain and suffering he caused. As for you, I thank you. I could use someone like you when I take Trenlor's place as leader of the clan. And it did its job splendidly. He certainly looks infinitely weaker to me. I'm sorry I deceived you, but look around. Do you see one face that mourns Trenlor? No. They will cheer your name for saving the Lothic clan. Your name, and mine. Trenlor was a monster. This was the only safe way to put an end to his reign of terror. Now someone truly worthy can take command of the Lothid clan. Someone exactly like me. Oh, darling, no. Cathod has too much damn virtue in his blood for my taste. Gets it from Medusa, no doubt. Lothid is my clan. It always has been. I will lead it with vision and purpose. Make it truly great again. Now, if you will excuse me. We are free, my brothers and sisters. Let us drink to the Lothid clan and its new leader, me! Oh, don't worry. I didn't poison all of the chalices. I wanted to save the clan, but not like this. Leaving me, Cathod? Fine. Go join your precious cat and pretend not to be the monster you are. Freilith lied to us, but the clan is better off in her hands than Boss Trenlor's. I'm ready to join the Raven. This Watch. one hates being used. Boss Trenlor needed to be dealt with, but there was no honor in how that played out. I should have expected Freilith's deception. Still, it twists Sadusa's tail. At least Cathad seems ready to move on now. Absolutely. Cathod risked everything to save his clan. He performed admirably, despite Freilith's dark influence. He will make a fine addition to our family. And Adusa appreciates your help, Five Claw. The Raven Watch will not forget your service. There are more problems in the Reach than Freilith and the Lothid clan. The Raven Watch's work never ends, it seems. For now, nothing. The Ravenwatch has other, more imminent threats to deal with. I hope Freilith decides to take the Lothed clan in a different direction. However, if she continues the practices put in place by Boss Trenlor...
If the Lothed clan continues to be a threat and Freyleth is a part of that, then yes, the Raven Watch will deal with them. For now, though, Adusa will give her the benefit of the doubt and a chance to show us she really is a good leader for the clan. This one needs to get Cathard settled, explain the rules of the Raven Watch, and start his training. But Adusa also wants to check in with the rest of House Raven Watch. See what else must be done to safeguard the Reach. Count Varandis, Gwendis, Fanorian, we came here to look into the threat posed by the Grey Host. As you can imagine, a renegade army of vampires and werewolves has us quite concerned. Cathad may have to learn on the job, as it were. This one, Tayfern. Come, Harrier. Give me your measure. Tayfern told me about you, Harrier. You wanted to talk? Well, here I am. What will it be? A battle? I haven't turned anyone into a goat recently, but I'm willing to try if you so much as raise your weapon. Why does everyone insist on calling us that? 
Tayfern, remind me to come up with a better name when time permits. As for later, well, I guide this gathering of rich folk if that's what you're asking. But what about you? Why are you here? Of course she is. She's a vampire, after all. We tried to slay her twice without much luck. Quick as a spooked hare, that one, and twice as cautious. We'll have her fangs soon enough, though. You can read? What else does that sheet of paper say? The leader? Now that's a worthy bit of news. Bones and birds guide us well, but there's no replacing a cunning hunter. Go to the Barrow, Harrier. Listen in on their meeting. Find out what Belaine and her master are up to, and I'll hear you out. The spirits will see you safely to Valthum, Harrier. After that, I suggest stealth and a strong blade. Saran, your plan proceeds. Kadok hangs on my every word, and soon Reach folk will fill Markarth like a larder. Excellent. With Markarth prepared, we need only claim the Ark and Keystone. Hmm. I'll make inquiries. Just remember our arrangement. Like you, I hate to be disappointed. You there, in the shadows. 
You can't hide from the Ashen Lord. Follow me if you dare. fire in your veins. I'll give you that. You thought yourself so clever, so stealthy, hiding in the shadows. But the darkness answers to me. Very well. My curiosity is piqued. What have you come to find in this forsaken barrow? You stand before Radha al-Saran and seek to understand his purpose. Better a torch bug try to comprehend the secrets of alchemy, or a mud crab the intricacies of necromancy. These events began millennia before your birth. They concern you not at all. Who is this we you speak of? Certainly not the Reach folk. No, there is someone else. I see them, lurking in your thoughts. An ally. Almost as ancient as I am. They're desperate to forestall the coming night. Tell me, who is this person? And I don't have to resist the urge to rip out your throat and gorge on your blood. But we are civilized beings, exchanging pleasantries in this humble setting. Perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. A tip for a tap, as it were. I propose a simple arrangement. A truth for a truth. Ask a question. I will answer honestly, then I will ask a question in turn. A fair compromise, don't you agree? Excellent. Then by all means, ask your first question. Lady Belaine is an ally of convenience. Her interests and my design are selfish and predictably narrow. Do you seek to supplant her in Kadok's court? I recommend against that, for it will not go well for you. A threat implies only the possibility of punishment. I do not threaten. Belaine has Kadok's ear. If he takes your side, she kills him and chaos descends on Markarth. If he stands by Belaine, you will be executed. Neither outcome benefits you. Others? Who? Reach folk? The Witch Arana? Your mysterious ally? I am unconcerned. Now, for my question. This ally that hides behind your eyes, does he seek to protect the world by going against his own kind? Of course he does. Thank you for your honesty. Now, do you have anything else to ask? As you wish, know that this level of cordiality will not be repeated. And this is not a threat. If you continue to meddle in my affairs, I will take far more than your life. On that you have my word.
of these weak strangers can face a true reach challenge. Welcome back, my friend. Tell me what you learned. Your arrival is fortuitous, as I have only just returned myself. Were you able to make contact with the rebels? Did you meet with Arana? I sensed some deception, but her illusion is powerful. How else did she hide her nature from me? Well, as for Arana, do you think we can convince her and her rebels to join our cause? You spoke to Rodda. Did he... No matter. If Rodda al Siran is here, our time grows short. Talk to Kadak. If he deems what you tell him worthy, maybe he'll finally be willing to work with me, and we can figure out how to deal with the Grey Host. It was only a matter of time before Rodda and I crossed paths again. I just didn't think it would be this soon. Send report for Synth World. The Grey Host is... I'll hear no more of this! Go! I want to talk to the Outsider. The Outsider returns? But are you a true warrior? Are a parasite like these damned leeches? Did you do as Lady Belaine asked? Did you deal with the Rana? Tell me you have her head in your back. I've got a pike on the walls waiting to be decorated. <sighs> That's not what you are asked to look into. Still, it confirms my own suspicions about my own keep witch. Don't look so surprised, I'm not half as stupid as people think, Rover. Allow! I could count on three fingers the number of people I allow in under stone keep. <laughs> the rest, they come. Go as they please. Let me tell you about the Ember Dance. It's a ceremony we perform here in the Reach. Have you ever heard of it? We grab a handful of hot coals and dance on a bit of straw. Ah, these coals burn over, right to the bone. But if you drop even one, the straw lights and the flames take all of you to Mullet Ball. Do you see? Belaine's a hot coal. <laughs> so I grip her tight. I'm going to sharpen my sword. And wait. If you and the noble plan to fight the Grey Host, I won't stop you. But remember, Markarth is more than dwarven stones and high walls. It's strength. Make a run up. Understand that. That's how you can help. Still begging! I should have the tongue ripped from your head and... Ah, God damn it, Rover. A favor for a favor, I. That's the reach way. All right. Tell the noble. Our Karak will see him whenever he's ready. You think I'm foolish? To keep Lady Belaine close, don't you? It takes a bit of foolishness to rule this place, don't you know? You tell this high elf of yours. I'll see him if he wants. Belaine hasn't returned. I've been watching, but Lady Belaine hasn't returned to Understone Keep yet. I wonder how the Ard plans to deal with her. Speaking of Ard Kadok, will he meet with me now? Will he help us stop Radha al-Saron and the Grey Host? 
Well, that's some progress, at least, and farther than I was able to get on my own. Thank you. I'll talk to Kadak, then I'd like to make contact with Arana. We'll need the Rebels' help and more if we're going to defeat the Grey Host. Your investigations uncovered that Ard Kadak's advisor, Lady Belaine, is working with the Grey Host, and that she's a vampire. To hide that from me takes great power. Tell me exactly what you heard during Rada al Saron's conversation with her. With your warning, Ard Kadak can decide what to do with Lady Belaine's advice in the future. As to why they care that Reachfolk gather within the city, I'll need to think about that. Did you hear anything else of significance during their exchange? Rodder tried to use dwarven devices once, but nothing came of it. Interesting. As I toured the city, I met Nolivan. He works with dwarven scrap in the southeast section of Markarth. Maybe he can lead us to this keystone before Lady Belaine acquires it. Despite occupying ruins of their lost civilization, few Reachfolk want anything to do with dwarven devices. That's why Nolivan intrigued me. While you deal with him, I'll seek out Arana's rebels. If I can't find them, they will surely notice me. And so I shall, briefly. Kadak has a city full of reach folk to deal with, so I don't want to unduly distract him. Then I need to locate Arana. If we can get the rebels to work with us against the Grey Host, we'll have more than a fighting chance. Aye, you're an outsider. I guess when the Arg made us put up those scratchings he calls signs, it really worked. Attracted you right to my business. Unfortunately, we're closed right now. Come back later, and bring your gold. Artzan. Sounds dwarven. I guess that's why you came to see me. No one in Markarth knows more about the Deep Folk and their scrap than old Nolivan. Now, keystones. That's another matter. Could refer to a wedge that supports an arch, maybe? Well, that is the other kind. You might be able to find one in Batharzel. I could sell you a map to the place, but it won't be cheap. Or if you do a simple job for me, I'll give you the map as payment. Quick work that would help me a great deal. Aye, more than cover it. Here's your map. Leads right to Batharzel, I guarantee it. You might need to do a little searching to find the entrance, but that map will get you close. Now, please, I have so much work to do before I can open the shop. Hey you, Verandas has need of you. Veranda said he sent you to talk to the scrap dealer, and here you are. Good to see you, by the way. Anyway, Verandas needs to talk to you. Right away, he said. So let's go. He did. Here, let me mark a location on your map. That's Rebel's Retreat, what Arana and her people call their camp in the foothills. Verandas wants you to meet him there. You should move quickly. Verandas has a way with words, but he's still a verbose high elf vampire noble from High Rock, 
any and all of which can get you killed in the Reach. Funny you should mention that. Oh, he went out into the foothills all right, but before Verandas could find them, the rebels found him. Seems to be working out, at least for the moment. What's to tell? It's a Reach folk camp in the foothills. Probably the main base for the rebels, but I'm just guessing. I was with Verandas when the rebels surrounded us. I wanted to fight, but the Count held me back. That's when Arana appeared. Hang on, let me think. Well, her and Verandas. Peace, a true peace. 